Right, today we're going to show you how to modify the QL stretch if you're struggling to do a normal QL stretch either on the floor or on a bed if you've got a really tight lower back and I'm going to use Claire here today to help us with that. So this is for people who cannot bend forward very well just naturally. Not in pain, they just don't have very much, very good range. And that's usually, you know, they'll feel like, oh, I've got really tight hamstrings, but a lot of time it's their lower back that's not releasing. And these are the people that can't get on the floor. So if you jump up on there for me. If, if you come right up on the bed, Claire. So these are the people that, if I put them into a QL stretch like this, and you reach forward, you know, they can't even get into that position. So they're at the point where they're sort of, can't even, if you let your hand go, they can sort of only get to sort of there and they just can't even get forward. Um, now it's really important to be able to get forward and touch your foot and grab your foot to do the stretch. So to get to that point, what we do is we modify it. So Claire, if you bring that leg off the side of the bed, what I get them to do is get them on a sofa or a bed. And so that will be round about sort of this sort of height, get them down a little bit lower so it's easier for them to do. If you have one leg off, you're more likely to be able to go and grab your foot because you're not, having the one leg off straightens the lower back out on one side and you don't have to have as much flexion ability to get forward and grab your foot. So it's a very good sort of like hack, if you like, to get into the stretch. So for this one, what she does, if you go forward and grab your foot, they slowly get their foot. Now, that's probably as, you know, for very, very tight people who you know, you can't bend forward if they've had maybe an old disc problem or they've had a very, very stiff lower back, um, this is probably as far as they're going to get. I would try and aim to get on the inside of the foot there and always have that knee bent because the hamstrings are going to be tight naturally anyway. So have the hamstrings off by bending that knee up as much as you need and that will take the tension off that so they can focus on the lower back. Now this will get it one side. So if she then tries to slowly rotate away, so it's away from that side so she's opening up on that side there. And then that point there, that might be enough stretch, okay? And they just sit there for a minute or so. But they're trying to get the QL, the obliques, the extensors on one side, which is namely the right-hand side because she's got her left leg out, stretched out, into flexion, so she's got a bit more release as she goes forward. Now, while she's in this position, she can um, play around with it. She can actually add on a little bit of arm up there, which gets her lat involvement, the fascia involvement from the lat dorsi down through that lower back. That's a nice way of doing this. And sometimes, you know, they can do this more than they can on the ground. So if you can add that on, that's great. And what they're aiming to do from that position is get their left side ribs, so because their left leg out, left side ribs, ribs closer to their left thigh by using their left hand and pulling themselves down. So for Claire, she needs to think about using this left arm to pull her body that way. So she's getting this rib close to this thigh, if that makes sense, okay? And then she'll feel this one opening up on this side, okay? So that will give her enough movement and you'll probably find that once they've done that for a couple of minutes, both sides, then you'll find they've actually got a little bit more range going forward, which is really helpful. Over time, they'll eventually get to the full st stretch, which is if you go up onto the bed a little bit more, then they get the other leg up and get into that, and then there's a lot more stretching going on. Once you've got this leg up, and again, you can play with your hip mobility at that point, um, then they get even further going forward that way. So like I said, this is for the stiff lower backs that are struggling to go into flexion, but are reasonably pain-free. This is not for acute discs or anything like that. This is for people who have lost some range going forward because they're so tight in their lower back and their hamstrings over a long period of time. So give that little hack a trick and we'll see how you go.